Well, did the songwriting change? Maybe did it change or did it not? Did it? Well, we've been using the same yeah. formula for a long time. I think it kind of works for us. So which is? Steve basically starts the music, you know, with guitar riffs, and mm -hmm. everybody kind of comes in and puts in their two cents. I think Steve kind of is really good at like setting a mood. He kind of lays down that landscape for us. So then uh, him and our drummer Thomas get together, and they kind of get the whole foundation of the song going. And then Mick comes in and does his thing. And then I'm kind of like the last piece to just, I kind of need all the music to be fairly structured before I can really get in there and start writing melodies to it. So uh, that's just the way we've always done it. And that's mm -hmm. been the way it works for us. Okay, so it's... Well, you start and then you finish it off. Yep. As soon as he gets to work, we can get going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really starts with the riffs, and I'll just like, uh, I got a home studio, so I'll just start, you know, laying down riffs and trying out ideas and bring it to the guys, see what they like, and then go back and refine it a little more. And yeah, we really just bounce ideas off each other and see what everyone else is liking, and then. Uh, but is it hard to write? I mean, sometimes, well, you can get into, uh, well, Absolutely. It's like probably the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> to, I mean, it's easy to write, but easy to write something original and unique to yourself is really hard. It's difficult to be, to write a riff that's original or to write, uh, to create a mood that hasn't been created before. That's an amazingly tough thing to do. So it can take some time and be frustrating as well. And how, 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 how did it go for this, this album then? Did it, was it hard or was it easier than the previous one? Once. This one... Uh, probably. I think it was easier than the last one. Yeah. I remember that one being pretty hard. But I, at the same time, it's never easy. I mean, we we do some serious struggling. Uh -huh. we, we stare at each other for days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, man, we're, we're never going to get out of this. You yeah, know? Yeah. But then somehow you get through it and then you look back on it and you're like, this one wasn't easy, but it was wasn't that terribly difficult. I remember that the snow cap record being difficult. Well, it's strange. Sometimes you'll have a, a straight month of nothing coming out good, and then you'll write three songs in a day, and you're like, whoa. You know, you know it comes in spurts, so you never know when it's going to be there, but you just got to keep Funny trying. Funny thing is that the snow cap record took less to make, though. Yeah. But I'm thinking that it was a lot harder to make. I don't really know, but uh, I remember this. I remember like wanting to pull my hair out of the snow cat record. Like yeah. this is not, this isn't <laughs> happening easily. And this record seemed to flow a little bit better, even mm -hmm. though it took us longer. It just seemed like we knew how to write. Maybe we were still picky as ever. I mean, man, this band is picky. But uh, I think that we just knew how to do it a little bit better than normal. Absolutely. At least, at least structuring songs and things like mm -hmm. that. So, but is it what well, you were saying? Sometimes you a month. A month you don't have anything. Um, is it true then that, that, that the songs that, that come really quickly, that those are normally the best songs? Or For the most part, the ones that, they tend to be my favorites. I don't yeah, know why, you know. Like the, the last song we wrote was a song called The Great Descent. It took us like an hour yeah. to write, which never happens for us. And it's one of my favorite songs oh. on the record. Oh, I can't, I can't and, the, and then do you write while traveling? Or is it just that you just well you just decide well now we are going to record an album and then you start writing? Or? Yeah, we do it like that. Um, when we're touring, we're really concentrating on the live show and uh, having a good time. So you know, it's, for us, if we get too many things going on, we get confused. <laughs> <laughs> we get confused yeah. easy. Writing for us is to be done at home. You know, that's just where we we can get it done a lot better and. So yeah, on the road, it's definitely about just hanging out with the people and ourselves and having fun and, and, and making sure the live show is good enough. And when is the last time you've visited uh, Alaska? I was there at home right before we came here. Yeah, so I was uh, there this fall. Yeah, as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, and what do they think of your music and your playing all over the world? Um, I think they have a, a pretty nice sense of pride with us. Yeah. Uh, They've always been there for us, and you, most of them are our friends. Yeah. Uh, what, what, town, what town are you from? Anchorage. Anchorage, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Capital. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, the capital is Juneau. Juneau, but Juneau. it's the biggest city. Yeah. Biggest oh, the city. biggest city, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they uh, are very supportive, and uh, it's, I think it's pretty cool for all the people there that, you know, that get this. Where the local boys done good. Yeah, local boys done good, I guess. Only band that has ever done this, I think, so. Yeah. Okay, well, it's... Must be proud then. Yeah, yeah. very cool.